Hi there. Now, what we have here is quite a common question that you get as a follow-on to these type of questions. And it then is to work out the maximum height h and the value of t that it occurs. So we've got our formula here, okay, and we've got to see that this can be changed into the previous form that we had from part A. We had 10 cos theta minus 3 sine theta was identical to this expression. Well, if I just pull out negative 1 here out the front of a bracket, you can see that I basically generate this form here. Only theta is replaced with 30t. So using this answer from part A then, I can pick up on this expression in here as being the root of 109 cosine of 30t in place of theta plus what we worked out before 16.699 and so on degrees. So when we've got it in this form it's easy to find the maximum height h we just want to make this expression a maximum and we've only got one term here that varies this term here and because it's got a cosine function, cosine, remember, goes between minus 1 and 1. So, again, we've got to be a bit careful here because to get the maximum value out, we want to make this 12 plus this quantity. And we can get that when the cosine function returns negative 1. And that will give us 12 plus root 109. So that's what I've written here, that the maximum height then is 12 plus root 109 when the cosine function equals minus 1. And we needed to give this to two decimal places, so you can see it turns out to be 22.44. And we had to work out then the first value of t that this occurred at. So when the cosine of this angle in here equals minus 1, if you inverse cosine minus 1, it's going to be at 180 degrees. So it's just a question now of rearranging this, subtracting 16.699 from both sides and dividing by 30. And you find that t turns out to be 5.44. It's given in minutes, OK, and we had to give it to two decimal places. So I hope that's given you an idea on handling that one. OK?